What is up everyone, my name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music from games I never played or heard about as a musician myself. This is a request by DX Shadow, but the reason I'm doing this is because I just recently hit 50,000 subscribers and I wanted to do a kind of uh, homage to all the composers and developers that have found their way onto my channel and have commented. In this case, it was Thrash Heavy from Killer Instinct did the vocals for Omen's theme. So sh shout out to him. This was this one that got requested by DX Shadow is interesting because it's Killer Instinct, and as far as I've known, uh, it was all Mick Gordon. But I learned something today. He left during one of the seasons, and uh, someone else took over. I did not know that. And those people are uh, Cell Dweller and Atlas Plug. So this is indeed Killer Instinct, which I'm very well aware of. I never played it, but I know of the game. But this is from a new set of composers. So that's going to be interesting because, you know, Mick Gordon has a very signature sound. But I'm not going to go in there. I'm not going to go into this thinking, you know, Mick Gordon and Mick Gordon. I just want to see what they did with Killer Instinct. I had no idea that they changed composers halfway through. So lots going on here. Anyways, thanks to uh, Thrash Heavy for checking out the channel. And let's check out some Cell Dweller and Atlas Plug. By the way, the song is called The Dragon Spirit from Killer Instinct. Let's go. Those drums sound amazing. Oh, the guitars. Ooh. Uh oh, it's building, it's building. Oh man. Dude. The hi hats? Good.
Aaron. That was so enjoyable on like so many fronts, sound quality, production value, frequencies, bass, high end, low end, mids, fuzz, um, cultures. It just, it just was this five minutes of just kind of art, strictly art. Let's just get the elephant. Let's address the elephant in the room. The shoes to fill. Mick Gordon, right? Mick Gordon is considered one of the legends in modern VGM for good reason. And I told you before the video started, I'm like, I'm not going to compare. I'm not going to, you know, it's not fair to do that. But I wondered if they're going to kind of follow suit with what he laid out, or if they were just going to do their own thing. I was excited to hear. And they brought it. <laughs> that was nuts, man. That was nuts. And to have the pressure of to follow in, in those footsteps, that's insane. And to deliver something on par, if not better. That's insane. That's that's so good that I feel like most people that are Mick Gordon fans, they're not even going to be like, oh, well, these are better than the other. Some, uh, some out there might be because they're like closed-minded or something, but I think you guys welcomed this with open arms once you heard it. Because, wow. That was so impressive on every every front there is. I can't even think of words besides front. So many energies were brought to the table. So many rhythmic ideas, gallops, riffs, sounds, tones of each. I, I, I think I heard a seven string or maybe an eight string guitar or maybe even like a six string bass, five string bass. Uh, there was a lot of manipulation of knobs and frequencies. It was just, it was kind of on brand, you know, of what MG laid out. Uh, I need to hear more of them individually, but I mean, they brought it to the table. <laughs> I was so captivated by the whole thing that I, I didn't even, I just remembered that there were vocals in it, which by the way, uh, totally caught me off guard. They were like these kind of high pitched vocals, kind of like sounding maybe younger, like children or something. Which I think I've heard of that uh, in kind of like Hisako's team. That's kind of like that. But I think that's the character supposed to be speaking, so I don't know. But when I think of like that kind of childish vocal, I think of like 
kind of like a possessed evil village or something. It sounds very haunted or spooky. I don't know. I'm guessing the song is connected to a character, probably this character, which I don't know who it is. But it's called The Dragon Spirit, and now I'm seeing why that's called that. Because this song had a heavy Chinese influence, like, hard, you know. I don't know who's playing the instrument, the Chinese instruments, but they're, they're, they're going off. But with that, <laughs> I have to, I, I have to bring it up. Look, dude, I am in my early thirties. I've been listening to music since I can remember, just like you. But I mean, I've been really like deciphering music since like of forever. And I've been a musician for about almost two decades now. I feel like I've heard just about everything under the sun as far as like concoctions and genre mixing and this and that. I've never in my life heard like Chinese sound with heavy metal before. It's never even occurred to me how that would work. And this is the first time. So I just experienced a new feeling, a new sound entered my ears that I've never had. And it worked so well. It worked so damn well. I, I feel like I have to just keep it brief because I was more just impressed than actually like deciphering it. Everything I told you was, was, was what I came up with in my head. But for the most part, I was just kind of drifting in and out. <laughs> reality because I just couldn't believe that even if it wasn't KI even if this was just like a regular song from some other game or whatever I still would have had the same thing but it just makes it that, that much more impressive that Cell Dweller and Atlas Plug can like carry their own in something that's already been you know laid out that was crazy Super good. Super enjoyable on the ears. Very rhythmic. It made me want to move. It made me want to headbang. It made me want to sleep. It made me want to play this game. I need to know what the Dragon Spirit is related to this that I'm or, or this could just be like an album artwork and that has nothing to do with the character. But I want to know what this song is relating to. Please fill me in on that. But as far as a uh, Cell Dweller and Atlas plug, I need to. I wonder if I've done anything else by them, if they've done any other VGM. I did not look it up, but I'm definitely going to recommend you like check them out on their socials or something. I'm sure they have something out there. Basically, I'm unprepared. I wasn't prepared for any of that. <laughs> it's been a while since something kind of like shook me up. That was heavy, but also it wasn't all strictly heavy. It was, it was just art, man. That was really good. The Dragon Spirit from Killer Instinct. Awesome. It's the last song I'm hearing for the night, so it's a good send off for me. But very, very much wow. <laughs> Uncle Jesse approved. Ooh, okay, if you want to make your own request, you could do the same thing as DX Shadow here did and request to me on Patreon or PayPal. Either are totally fine if you do not mind waiting in the giant list. If you do not want to wait, there is the Platinum Trophy tier on Patreon, which I provide, which expedites your request to the very top, thus eliminating the wait. A big shout out to my current supporters, Justin, Kevin, Moon Knight, DJ Singletone, your average metalhead, Mushi Mary, for being a part of that. Thanks to everyone that you see on your screen, our supporters. Thanks to you for watching. Thanks to the 50,000 subscribers that got me here. I wouldn't be here without you. I wouldn't be here without the composers, which is why I'm doing this. A big shout out to Cell Dweller and Atlas Plug. And uh, Mick Gordon, of course, and everyone else. Till next time, dudes and dudettes. Uh, video game music is incredible. Peace.